I felt the line at first not knowing what it was, but yeah, so I was like, what is this? This turned out to be a treble fishing hook cast by a man fishing on the Three Mile Bridge. All right, y'all, we have made it out here to the Three Mile Bridge, and this is where they're doing a little investigation to possibly do no fishing off of this bridge. It's kind of crazy because you have this whole dedicated lane here, uh, which is for walking, biking, running, and stuff like that, but there's plenty of room for fishing without being in traffic or anything like that. I think their biggest concern is people leaving like dead fish and bait and stuff like that. But if you're a fisherman, it should be obvious. Clean up your trash. Don't be leaving anything, no matter where you're fishing, whether it's this bridge or anywhere, any pier, whatever it may be, always pick up your trash, your bait, stuff like that. But uh, we got everything rigged up, got out here on the Rattan e-bike. These bikes are on sale for Black Friday, which I'm gonna have all that information linked down below if you're interested. They're already knocked down like 150 bucks for this Pathfinder. And if you buy two, you save another $150. So if you're buying two of them, you basically save like 600 bucks. And, uh, or actually that would be 450. I'm terrible at math. I think it's 450. But if you're buying one, it's $50 off one, $150 off two. So really good deal. If you're interested in getting an e-bike, everything's linked down below. So go check them out. But we just got rigged up, set up, ready to fish, trying to get on some giants today. Got old Yakima Jack back here with us again. See if we can make it happen. Let's go. All right, y'all. We got our blue crab here. We're going to cut the points off. Makes it easier for these black drum to eat it. We got the Carolina rig, circle hook, up the shell, just like so. We're gonna pitch this bait right up under this bridge. All right, we're gonna set our drag nice and loose here. Set this baby up. We got one more rod we're gonna rig up, do the exact same thing, toss it up under, and uh, then we just wait for the fish. I just got picked up. Come on, come back for it. I felt like I felt a little thump. All right, I guess it's not coming back for it right now. Let's see if you stole my bait. No, still got the bait there. It definitely munched on it a little bit. Send it back down there. Still got some juices in there. Got the meat. At least we got a bite. They are here. Need a fish now. Just got our first bite of the day. Had the clicker going when I picked it up, reeled it up a little bit, there was nothing there. Um, but definitely got a bite on it. He crunched the shell a little bit on that crab. Dropped him back down. That crunched shell should help release some more juices out in the water, get some flavor going. But uh, hopefully we can get hooked up again. Jack put a rod way down there and he got hit a second ago. <laughs> you should have seen little Jack running all the way to his rod. It was pretty funny. We're gonna hang out a little bit longer. If we don't get another bite here soon, we may move down, fish a couple different pilings. Don't have too long to fish today, so uh, gotta make something happen quickly. Jack's got one on his rod and this rod just fell over. I don't know if we got a fish on or not. There's nothing there. I might have just blew over from the wind. Go help him land this other fish. Oh. I don't think he's got one on. I have to keep an eye on that. You guys, you guys are Woo. I think I just blew over from the wind. Oh, jeez. Guys, he's huge. He might not fit in the net. My line was all on him. He's still pretty great. Walk it to you. Up. Nope. Nothing. Dang it. Mm. Need to just get his head in there. This wind ain't helping Pick us. Pick it up and throw it out and help us. Got his head up. You let it drift back to us? Oh, no. no. I'll try that one more time. Got his head up, so he's beat. Head in there. <laughs> oh my God. You need a bigger net. Uh. 
He's massive, guys. Yeah. He's absolutely massive. Brad's struggling. Get uh, get it's a big fish, dude. He's a monster. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on, we got to get out. I hope I can get my rod down and I hope to get him. Because if he drops, the rod's probably going to go in. Okay. Bye, everything. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Woo. <sighs> Give me some. <laughs> that was a struggle. That's a big fish. That's a monster. Big fish and a little net. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take my other rod a little further down, fish another pile, and kind of spread these baits out a little bit. <laughs> Give ourselves some more opportunities. All right, get that clicker. All right, well, I've been on the struggle bus. We have 30 minutes left to make something happen. We'll see if we can do it. We, uh, we spread out our rods. So I got one way down there. I got one here. Jack's got one here, one way down there. Jack is a nice enough man. He said I can catch one on his rod. So I'm gonna grab ro Jack's rod and get a giant. Mm. Yeah, make sure to go give him a subscribe for doing such kind things out here today. But uh, we're freezing, it's cold, it's windy. Very windy. We got 30 minutes left, Let's see if we can make it happen. Ah! Got to figure out this drag. Aww. All right, well that one munched on it pretty good. We just had two bites back to back. Gonna get another fresh bait on here. We're down to like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Whole crab or half crab? Yeah. Whole crab, half crab? The struggle is real. We can do this. Yes, I believe. I believe. I believe I can fly. We gotta leave at 4.15 and it's 4.07. Eight minutes. So we make it happen. Now starts the walk of shame. Jack tried to make me turn around. We have officially ran out of time. And it was officially winter time fishing which is very difficult a lot of days of fishing and not making videos when it starts getting this cold maybe this rod will just like go off as soon as i get here <laughs> toodaloo mr crabby toodaloo all right we got one more opportunity <laughs> my other rod to go off on the way back so you're saying there's a chance go 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 Go, go DJ, that's my DJ. Those were good crabs too. Ay, ay, ay. I was gonna go back out the three mile bridge to finish this video, but then I saw this on the news. And now more fishing from the three mile bridge. There it is, Florida Department of Transportation posted those signs notifying everyone of that change late last week. I'd fished out there a couple of weeks ago with Jack and Sean and caught some fish. FWC came up. FWC didn't say anything about uh, there being any issues fishing there or them even talking about it. Oh, I got him. I got him. There he is. There we go. He had it. was just running with it. Nice. Come on, buddy. This is so sick. Catching these monsters right up on this busy bridge morning traffic running right past us that's a big one that's a hoss there god dang that wind's blowing i know that wind's rough awesome hang on, hang on. Oh, 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 okay. sorry, sorry. sorry we get him on this right. side uh, there, we go. Oh. there we go nice heck yeah nice Woo! circle hook right in the top of the mouth <laughs> right in the top <laughs> All right, y'all, check out that big girl there. Bringing the electric e-bike out here on the bridge, hooking into these big monsters. First one broke me off pretty quick, got this one up. They were down there thick, and uh, we're gonna let this one go. Drop another crab down, see if we can get on them again. Good. 
Huh? Are y'all the only ones that are fishing out here? Yeah. On this side, I don't know if anybody's over yeah. there. Yeah. Y'all got some fishing last year? Thank you. No problem. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. What's that under? That app? Florida. Florida. Yeah. Fish on the oh, okay. Fish on the I saw y'all caught his black drum so far. Yeah, yeah he had one fish. red Big fish. Red. Good deal. Nobody's keeping any fish right now. No, we're just no. recording videos on YouTube. I don't see anywhere where y'all can keep them. <laughs> I don't know. We got one cooler, but it's just got crabs yeah. in it. So. Just crabs in there, yeah. Well, good deal, guys. Well, y'all have a good one. Okay? Yeah, man. All you right. too. Thank, Thank you. you. Come on, baby. Got that? Uh, yeah. There's like some structure down here because I'm filling Robin again. Come on, baby. Oh, you got it. Hey, shut your mouth. Oh, oh, oh he's heading for the pilot. I, I know. Don't tell me I got him yet, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. That's a good fish. Uh, walk this way. Walk this way. Don't do it. Oh, he went past me. He's going out to open water. Whew. I still see some uh, fray in my mono. I see a big fray. All right. Oh, you can yeet that one. Drop the net. <laughs> hey, <laughs> why didn't you drop it and let me bring them to you? <laughs> All right, we should have let Sean do the net job. Whatever. All right. <laughs> that was dangerous. There's still a massive fray. I got all mono in here. There's still a massive fray from that break off earlier. I was a little nervous about putting too much pressure on them. That's like an eater size there. Just about. I gotta change my battery. Uh, looks like Jack got a hold of it. All right. Another drum, circle hook, corner of the mouth there. These things are so much fun to fight out here on this bridge. A lot of times these big drum get full of worms. Most people don't like to eat them, but when they're a little smaller like this, they're actually really good. Even if they do have some worms, you can just cut them out. Easy. Brant just did a catch and cook with one not too long ago, and the meat is a little sweeter than redfish, and it's pretty firm, so actually pretty good to blacken it. Again, we don't have a cooler. We're not keeping any fish today, but if you do catch a black drum that is a little bit smaller, you can't eat it. They're not too bad to eat, but... Uh, we're gonna get a little release on this, drop another crab down, cut that prey out of my line so we don't have to risk that again. Probably one of the biggest concerns other than people leaving trash and fish guts and stuff like this is there's a lot of boat traffic that goes around there and uh, one lady did end up getting hooked and so I'm sure that plays a big role in all this happening. During a May boat outing with her husband and kids, Kristen West's arm accidentally became the catch of the day. I felt the line at first not knowing what it was, but uh, yeah, so I was like, what is this? This turned out to be a treble fishing hook cast by a man fishing on the three mile bridge. He probably had just cast it. And with our center console, we have like metal bars or whatever. And so it, it wrapped around that a couple times and then got me. When her boat passed underneath the bridge, West's arm got snagged by the hook. Her husband quickly cut the line. It scared me for sure. Um, I didn't yell because at first I felt the line around my neck. So I was like, what's going on? But um, then I realized the hook and it was it was kind of like a beast thing. So it wasn't too bad. But FDOT told me law enforcement and other agencies will be on the lookout for fishermen not following the rules. A spokesperson said an FDOT study revealed that fish guts and trash were getting in the path of bicyclists and pedestrians. And in West's case, boaters. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please go to big thumbs up. This is the backyard of the new house. Y'all will be seeing some more of this when we do some catching cooks and stuff like that. But the dog and the kids are absolutely loving it out here. Being able to play outside and uh, getting out of those townhouses is definitely nice. So <coughs> we're still trying to get all moved in. It's a little cluttered inside. Hope you all enjoyed it. Catch y'all in the next one.